You know, I was talking to one of my friends earlier, and oftentimes we try to understand people so much that it frustrates us. We try to understand why someone does the things that they do or why someone, <clears throat> you know, behaves the way that they behave. And we try to process it, but in the process of trying to process it, we are putting ourselves at risk for more stress, for more depression, for, for you know, the things that we don't want because we're trying to understand, you know, this being or this person that just doesn't, you know, align with our values. Why do I say that? Because far too many times we are wasting time trying to figure other people out when, we, when what we need to be doing is figuring out why we're here on earth and, and what is our purpose? What is the meaning? What, 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 what are the reasons why we are here truly? What is the absolute goal for, for you and what are you supposed to be doing in this, in this world right now? But we focus so much on other people in their issues, in their behaviors, when we know that their behaviors are just not acceptable, rather. So the question really becomes, when are we going to stop trying to, tr trying to figure everybody out? When are we going to stop trying to figure out people and start figuring out our purpose? When are we going to stop trying to figure out what everybody else wants to do or, or trying to make sense of their behaviors and the way that they act, the way that they speak, the, the way that they talk, the way that they walk, their tonalities and all this other stuff and start focusing on what you have to do for the world, what you have to do in your life, who you are called to serve, who you are called to be at the end of the day. I think if we start focusing on what it is that we're called to do, I think life will get, I'm not going to say it'll get easier, but the stress will go away because you're focusing on what you need to do. The, stress, the, the depression will go away because you're, you know you're building towards something, something that is, is of meaning and of value and in, in something that is supposed to serve people in, in a better way. You're going to face adversity in life. But you don't have to face adversity in life dealing with other people and their drama. Focusing on, you know, what, what they're doing on World Star or who's beating up who and, and trying to figure out this person's behavior when really you should be focusing on the people that you come in contact with in the world. You're not going to get to everybody. You're not going to really change the world. That's just the, the fact. That's just the reality. But you can change the people who you come in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. You can help change. I'm not so going to say you can change them, but you can help change and you can spark some form of influence in their life that can, that can help them do what they're called to do on this earth while they're here. Oftentimes say yesterday is gone, tomorrow will worry about itself, and today is all we have. And guys, if today is all we have, how will you impact today? Stop focusing on people and trying to cope with their with their misbehaviors and you know what they're doing to you. And start focusing more, start focusing more on what your true purpose is in life. I think that when you start doing that, I think when you start focusing on that, I think when you start believing in yourself more, because leadership starts from within you, I think that will be the moment where your life really starts to shift and really starts to change. That is the moment when you really start to become the leader that you were born to be in the first place. And I believe that every person has a form of leadership within them. We just have to be willing to take take it on and, and go to that next level. So listen, man. Stop allowing people to sit here and take over your life with their misbehaviors. Sometimes it's just better to remove yourself to improve yourself.